What's up, guys? Steve Ross here, starting strength coach and head coach here at Brussels Barbell. As the first and only affiliate gym in Europe, we thought we'd give you a little tour of our place. Let's take a look. So here we are. Let's have a look at the first and only starting strength affiliate in Europe. As you can see, we've got five private platforms and racks, and each rack is equipped with 200 kilos in cast iron plates. As you can see, we've got 10 20 kilo barbells, power and Olympic weightlifting bars. We have three 15 kilo women's barbells, four 10 kilo junior barbells, and even a two and a half kilo training bar for those who are just starting out or afraid or so severely under trained that this is where they have to start. For our specialty bars, we have a safety squat bar, a buffalo bar, a camber bar, and a Swiss bar, as well as an easy co bar when we're doing LTEs and other things like that. Now, all of these barbells have a purpose. We don't use them that often, but you should be equipped with one if you're gonna deal with everybody in the population. So we opted for custom-made uh, platforms that we did ourselves. You can see each one is floating off the ground because they're all sitting on two centimeter polypress high density foam to eliminate some of that sound to have respect for our neighbors. I don't know, maybe four or five pieces of OSB, then there's some more polypress foam, horse stall mat, and then 44 millimeter sound absorbing rubber. So our platforms are pretty quiet. The only downside is they're quite thick, so we've lost some, some floor to ceiling height, which is not a big deal. As we move on to the back of the room, we have our accessories in the corner, our extra stall mats, our mats for deficits and such things like that. We have our straps, our cable attachments, our knee wraps, all that kind of stuff in the back, as well as chains and bands for other accessory lifts. All of our lifters have their belts here that they leave here with us, of course. As we work our way to the back, every gym or every good gym should have a gym dog. This is ours. This is my, my dog. Her name is Zoe. She's eight and uh, is a ton of fun to have around. Doesn't do much, but it's great for moral support. So go back to your chair. Further on down the line, we have our office where Gabby does all the work. It's where the magic happens where you meet new lifters, sign them up, all that kind of stuff. A little lounge area for our lifters, kitchen, microwave, fridge, et cetera, to keep some food, drinks on hand. Coffee machine for sure, because our clients are all European, everybody drinks coffee. And then we have the place for our lifters to leave their logbooks. We provide everyone with logbooks. It's important because when you're training for strength, you have to have a start point and you need to see the progression as you go. So this is everyone's guide and they know what their job is every day they show up. Everyone's shoes are here. We let them leave their shoes here, of course the front and the back by the window. We have a, two small changing areas for our lifters to come in to get ready before and after they train. And then in the back with the shoes, we have two private showers, as you can see, and bathroom at the back. So, because people are coming from work or going to work after they train, they need a place to shower up and head back so that they're fresh after they lift. So, there you have it. We are the best equipped strength training facility in Brussels. And like I said before, the first starting strength affiliate. We're very, very proud of this fact. Um, we're growing quickly. It's been a lot of fun so far after the first year. We're looking forward to more. So we hope to see you around.